We might be crooked. I don't know. I don't know. Hello, thank you so much for coming back to join me for this week's hair care review. It's not really hair care, well kind of, yeah. I'm gonna be showing you how I style my bangs when I do wear them down, because sometimes bangs can be a little bit of a pain in the butt. So I'm gonna show you um, the tools I use, the products I use, all that kind of stuff. So if that sounds interesting, then please keep on watching. Like it says, I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty. So make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that jazz. You know the drill, door has to come open. Okay, anyway, so yeah, I cut bangs a couple weeks ago and they can be a pain in the butt. So, um, washed and conditioned my hair and I pulled out my um, Conair Infinity Pro Knot Doctor. I like this because I'm not gonna be blow drying the rest of my hair. I'm just gonna be blow drying my bangs. So, I'll go in and blow dry them about 75% of the way with this and then I'll go ahead and pop on the little curling tool, little brush thing. So, let's go in and do that. almost dry. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this on. And if you don't have this, you don't need to go out and buy it. A round brush and a blow dryer works exactly the same. So you don't have to go out and buy this. It's just convenient. So let's go ahead and do this. Literally, I've been filming for three minutes. So, I obviously sped through the blow drying part. But, yeah, so we're really nice and full. I know it looks creepy with the wet hair in the back, but. So at this point, this is when I would go ahead and I would grab my setting. So what I've been using is the Aquanet. And I'll just do a tiny bit of a spritz because I don't want it to be hard. I don't want it to look unnatural. I just want them to stay because I don't know about you, but my bangs will like try to split and all that. So, okay, so I'll go ahead and do that even though I just got out of the shower. But let me go ahead and spray them. I'm literally saying just a little bit. You don't want it crunchy. And, sorry, before I do this, you don't want it to weigh down the bang where it's going to disrupt the style, whatever. So, let me go ahead and do this. Okay, so we don't have disruption. Um, just did a little tiny bit. So this is what we're looking like. So yeah, literally takes a few minutes. So if you've been wanting bangs, but you've been scared of having to style them, the days you wanna wear them down, this is super easy. But as you've noticed through videos and pictures and stuff, a lot of times I'm pinning my bangs up just because, yeah, just, I don't always feel like having my bangs down, but I cut bangs from time to time because I'm like, I want bangs to cover my forehead wrinkles. Um, bangs grow out, don't be afraid of them. Like I said, if you don't have a blow dryer with, you know, the styling tool or whatever, a blow dryer and a round brush, or honestly, just a blow dryer and a regular brush will do the trick. You don't have to go out and spend a ton of money on something you really don't need but this is a look let me tell you wet hair and dry bangs it's hot I like it anyway short and sweet hair care hair styling video this week um, if you did enjoy today's video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it um, let me know down below in the comments are you gonna be getting bangs for spring and summer 
let me know down below and of course you are welcome to follow me on my social media at facebook and instagram and use that budget glam babe um i will go ahead and link the not doctor down below because it is a cool tool that's coming from someone that does not like blow drying um feel free to use it you definitely don't have to um it's just there for convenience but anyway um don't go anywhere uh don't go anywhere yeah i have another video starting soon or you can always click on one of the ones that's going to be popping up around the screen but yeah I'll see you here in just a sec.